Hi, today uh, I am going to start a new course introduction to formal language and automata theory. It is an undergraduate four credit course. Uh, basically, um, it consists of uh, the concepts that is related to how to design a language, uh, programming language and uh, how to design a machine. So, before starting this course, uh, we need to understand why this course is required. So, formal language and automata theory will help us to design our own programming language. design programming language or compiler. So, what is compiler? Compiler is basically a translator which will translate the high level language that is written uh, by the users uh, in a computer. Uh, to a machine level language which will be understandable by the processor. Ultimately, the processor is going to execute your instruction. So, processor needs to know uh, the instruction level. So, you can design your own compiler like C or C++ or Java, you can design your own uh, programming language. To automate a machine. That means, which will take an input and uh, execute that input and uh, produce an output. It is also very much important for error coding technique also, error coding technique. So, these are the three most important features that uh, we can uh, learn. Uh, if uh, we uh, we are master in uh, programming formal language and automata theory. So, before starting uh, the course, we need to know three basic concepts. One is language. grammar and then automata. What is language, what is grammar and what is automata. Now, let us start with language. What is language? Language is a medium through which we can express our views, thoughts and ideas. Like my medium of instruction here is English. So, through English language, I am giving my instruction, I am expressing my views, thoughts and ideas, which will be understandable by the users who knows that English language. Similarly, Bengali, Assamese, whatever the other languages are there. So, all are the basically a medium of instructions, a medium of uh, medium through which we are expressing our views, thoughts and ideas. Similarly, in formal language also, um, that is also a medium of instructions through which we are uh, expressing our instruction medium, what type of instruction our we are giving so that the machine can execute our instruction based on the requirement that we are putting into the machine. So, uh, the formal language is basically formal language. is defined by a non empty finite set represented by sigma symbols 
called alphabet means that sigma is a non empty finite sets that means it must contain some elements within my sets that elements may be a b or c or whatever it may be so these are the elements of my alphabet with that elements so whatever be the words or the strings i am constructing all are the parts of this language suppose if i consider sigma equal to a comma b with that a b what are the strings i can construct i can construct a b by concatenating a with b or i can create a a b by concatenating two a one with each other and are followed by a b or i can create a b b or i can create a a b b or triple a triple b so infinite numbers of strings i can create if there is no other rules are specified by this language right if there is no other rules are specified by this language so all are if if i consider all are the part of this language omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 omega 4 omega 5 now if i specified a um, rules two rules suppose i am specifying two rules i am specifying one is number of a equal to number of b all a are followed by all b's so if i in augment two rules that the apart from this alphabet a comma b uh, there are two rules that must have to be maintained by this language that equal number of a and equal number of b must be there and all a must be followed by all b that case is omega 1 is a part of this language i will say yes because it is maintaining both the properties that equal a and equal b is there and all a are uh, followed by all b is omega 2 is a part of this language no it is not a part of this language is omega 3 is a part of this language no omega 4 yes omega 4 is a part of this language omega 5 yes omega 5 is a part of this language so initially i am defining what are the elements of this language and followed by i am maintaining the rules i am specifying all the rules that must have to be obtained by this or maintained by this language so in this way i can uh, define a language now if you are asked that design a language uh, which are um, maintained by this rules and also the alphabets are a and b so that case so what should how, how can i represent this language so in that case i have to write all the strings that are maintained by this language so is it possible because infinite numbers of strings will be generated so it is not possible to write all the uh, strings that are maintained by this language so one of the way to represent this language is to write it in its generalized form so in that generalized form whatever be the values i am putting the strings will be generated and all the strings must maintain the rules of this language suppose in this case my rules are that the string must contains uh, um, sorry the alphabet must contains the elements a and b and the rules are number of a equal to number of b and all a's are followed by all b's so that case uh, can i write the language like this <coughs> sorry a n b n n greater than equal to 0 that means it is not a to the power n and b to the power n it is not algebra it means that number of a is followed by number of b and what is the minimum value of n it should be 0 now if i put the minimum value of n equal to 0 over here n equal to 
then it will become a 0 b 0 that means no 0 or no a no b that means the number of a and number of b is 0 over here and if I put n equal to 1 then it will become a 1 b 1 that means 1 a is followed by 1 b if n equal to 2 it becomes a 2 b 2 means that it is 2 a is followed by 2 b if it is n equal to 3 then it becomes a 3 b 3 that means 3a is followed by 3b. So, whatever uh, look at here that whatever the, the strings are uh, generated by this language all are maintaining the rules of this language. So, the language L G A N B N is maintaining the rules of this language. So, in this way I have to represent each of the languages. Now, so, uh, so similarly if I give another example that design a language if you are asked that design a language where alphabet equal to a comma b as well as rules are number of a equal to number of b all a must precede all b. So, uh, plus 1. So, in that case what should be uh, the language? So, I can say that if n greater than equal to 0 the minimum value of um, uh, of this language will be only b because if no a is there no b is there at least one b should be there again a b b because equal number of a equal number of b plus one b is extra or two a three b three a four b that means whatever be my language whatever be by the number of a and number of b at least one b must be there which is extra. Now, can I write this language in the general form like this a n b n plus 1 where n greater than equal to 0. I am giving another examples design a language where sigma equal to a comma b and number of a equal to double the number of b all a must precede all b number of a is equal to double the number of b means it should be double a 1 b or 4 a 2 b or 6 a 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 a Three B. So, what should be the language? It should be L G equal to A twice N B N, where N greater than equal to zero. Suppose I am giving another example that sigma equal to A comma B and number of a a and b is even number a and b are in even number all a must precede all b. So, that case 
what should be the language? So, look at here if the number of A and number of B are even that case no A no B will satisfy this language that means there is no A there is no B it is satisfying this language if the number of A and number of B single A and single B it is not allowed right it is not allowed but 2 A 2 B will be allowed 3 A 3 B will it be allowed no 4 A 4 B yes because it is an even number right 5 A 5 B no again 6 A 6 B yes 6 A 6 B will be allowed. So, how to represent this one? It should be represented by A twice n, B twice n, n greater than equal to 0. So, innumerable examples can be given. So, this is the basic property of a language. Now, another thing that we must have to mention uh, while we are men mentioning this language is that uh, the lambda. Lambda is called a null string that is also a part of this language. Lambda is called a null string. So, what is lambda? Lambda is a special symbol used in formal language and automata theory whose value may be 0 or 1, but length mod of lambda must be 0. Means that if I have a string omega 1 that is a b suppose, now if I concatenate lambda before omega 1 or if I concatenate lambda after omega 1, uh, whatever it may be it will remain omega 1 only. That means, concatenating lambda with any string does not have any meaning, it will remain the same. So, this lambda has a very powerful use in case of formal language and automata theory that we will check time to time. Next come to the point what is grammar. Grammar is basically a set of rules which tells us whether a sentence is a well formed or not or a whether a language whether a string uh, is a part of this language or not. Similarly, in case of formal language the grammar is defined by quadruple means four tuple quadruple v t s and p what is v t s p v is variable t is terminal symbol p is production S is start symbol. So, before coming to the point what is variable, what is terminal symbol and what is start symbol, let us start with what is production. Production is defined by an arrow, the left hand side of the arrow will contain some string and right hand side of the arrow contains some string, uh, rather we should say specifically that omega 1 and omega 2 are substring that is a part of a string. Suppose my string is omega, omega 1, omega 2 or sorry omega 4. 
So, it is a string omega omega 1 omega 4 is a string out of this omega 1 is a substring. So, in each of the, in any string if this substring omega 1 appears that is the left hand side part of my production then that can be replaced by the right hand side of my production that means omega omega 1 omega 4 can be written as omega omega 2 omega 4 as I have a production written over there omega 1 wherever omega 1 appears that will be replaced by omega 2. I am giving one simple example that uh, I have two productions I have two productions x to y y to z means that wherever x appears that will be replaced by y and wherever y appears that will be replaced by z. Now, I have a strings a x v. Now, within this string I have a substring x which has a production x to y. Now, this x will be can be replaced by y and it will become a y v again within this string a y v I have a substring y which will be replaced by a z v means that I have a x v which is after using that production it becomes a y v similarly a y v which is replaced using the production y to z it becomes a z v or I can write in a single line that a x v can be replaced to a z v by uh, by removing some intermediate steps and write in this format that star star means that some intermediate steps are there which I am removing and it is directly um, uh, changes from a x v to a z v. Now, here how many productions are there? Two productions are there. One is x to y, another is y to z. Out of this, two productions are there. Out of this, tell me the within this uh, string a x v, uh, which can be replaceable, which substrings can be replaceable, and which substrings cannot be replaceable. Means that I am getting some substring which can be replaceable, and I am getting some substring which cannot be replaceable. Here, x and y are two substring which can be replaceable, or x and y are two alphabets which can be replaceable. But can I replace a? Can I replace v? Or can I replace z? No, because I don't have a production for a v as well as for z. So, x and y which are, can be replaceable are called variable these are called variable and uh, sorry uh, yes x and y these are called variable. On the other hand a v and z which cannot be replaceable are called terminal symbol. From onwards in our uh, formal language uh, whatever grammars we will write here we will show that all the variables will be written uh, by capital letter uh, upper case and all the terminal symbol will be written in lower case. Now, in this productions uh, in this grammar. So, what are the variables if I write in the form of V T S P my V T S and P what are the variables my variables are x and y and what are the terminal symbols my terminal symbols are a v and z what is my start symbol my start symbol is x and what is my productions my productions are x to y and y to z. Now, let us come back to that particular language L g equal to a n b n n greater than equal to 0. So, already I told that what are the rules for this language that uh, number of a must be equal to number of b and all a must precede all b. Now, what should be the rule to generate this language? That means that what should be the grammar for this language? 
that will be represented by my VTSP that already we have told means that I have to find out the productions means that I have to find out some string how to replace those strings that every time I will get all the strings all the strings that is generated by this language means that no a no b as well as 1 a 1 b 2 a 2 b 3 a 3 b like this or 4 a 4 b so all the strings will be generated so in the let us try that we will start one variable that is capital s and we will replace this s with s again but the left hand side of s will be one small a and right hand side of this s will be one small b if i use this replacement then let us see what happens that if this s i am replacing this s with again with this productions then i should get a s b again if i replace this s again then i must get triple a s triple b if i replace this s again then i must get 4 a s 4 b so look at this that after each replacement i am getting the similar kind of productions that are a part of this language that means i am getting a b i am getting double a double b i am getting triple a triple b i am getting 4 a 4 b also so there there is no issue but one problem is that one variable is there which is not a part of the strings right now to stop this variable what can we do that we can replace this s to stop this variable what we can do that we can replace this s we can replace this s with lambda means if i want only a b then what i will do that i will replace s with a s b and s ultimately will be replaced by lambda instead of a a s b b that means instead of using this production i will use s to lambda and it will become a lambda b and already we have shown that a lambda b and a b both are equal similarly if i want double a double b that case what i will do that i will replace it at a s b and a s b will again be replaced with a a s b b and this s will again replace with a a lambda b b and ultimately i am going to get a a b b so in this way i can get 3 a 3 b i can get 4 a 4 b now uh, uh, consider the initial situation that means the minimum condition that when what will happen if n equal to 0 that case i must get a 0 b 0 means that i must get a 0 b 0 I must get a 0 b 0 means no a no b. So, how can I get this one? Yes, I can get this one instead of s to a s b I will replace s with lambda only and I know that the value of lambda may be 0 or may be 1 that depends upon the applications. In this case the value of lambda is 0 only. So, I can say that this two production will help me to generate all the strings that are the part of this language a and b n. So, my productions will be s to a s b and s to lambda or i can write like this also both will be same s to a s b slash lambda and what will be my variable my variable only one variable is there that is capital s and what is my terminal symbols my terminal symbols will be a b but lambda is not a part of a terminal symbol it is a special symbol that is called null string and what is start symbol start symbol is basically if i have more than one productions that um, uh, one variable that case there must be one variable which through which I will start my replacement and in this case my replacement uh, production uh, variable is capital S only. So, S is the start symbol clear. Now, let us start with the next grammar and uh, next, next language that we have written over there earlier that a n b n plus 1 where n greater than equal to 0. So, what should be my language means I have to represent I have to define what is b t s and p. Now, uh, earlier we have shown that s to a s b 
is providing me equal number of a and equal number of b but in that case what i require extra that one b must be extra so if i re continuously replacing this one then in the first replacement i must get a as b in the next replacement i must get a, a as b b that means 2 a 2 b and in the third replacement i must get triple a triple s uh, triple b so equal number of a and equal number of b i am getting so how to get an extra b Yes, I can get an extra B. What I have to do that instead of replacing S with lambda to stop, actually in this case lambda is used as a terminator. So instead of terminating S with lambda, why not terminate S with B? That case what will happen that if I need only a single B, that means I'm in the minimum condition n equal to 0, I must get a single B, a 0, B 0 plus 1 means a single B I must get. So in that case what should I do that I should replace S with B only and for n equal to 1, I must get a B B. So okay, so that case what I have to do that replace S with this a as B and after that replace a this S with b only then it will become a b b if i want 2 a 3 b that case replace this s with again b then it will become 2 a 3 b so in this way i will get all the strings i have to make one little modification is that replacing s with instead of lambda i will replace s with b only and my productions are s to a s b another is s to b and what are my variable my variables are capital s my terminal symbols are a b and my start symbols are s only so in this case a n a twice n b n already I have discussed this one a twice n b n where n greater than equal to 0. So, means that I should get the double the number of uh, num number of a must be double the number of b. So, means that it should be double a b it should be 4 a 2 b like this. So, how to represent this one my production must be a a s b and how to stop s in this case i have to stop s with lambda yeah. and uh, similarly the vtsp v will be s t will be a b p is s2 a a s b sorry s2 a a s b slash lambda and s is s only next one is lg equal to a twice n b twice n means number of a is even number of b is even n greater than equal to 0 now what should be my production my production is s2 a a s b b and every time i should get even number of a and even number of b similarly if i give if i ask that uh, um, the designer language where the number of a and number of b is are odd so how to design this language number of a and number of b is odd means it must be a b or it must be triple a triple b or it must be 5 a 5 b so i can represent this language as a twice n b twice n is even right so if i add a one with the even number it becomes odd so the um, the language is a twice n one plus one and b twice n plus one so, how to design the grammar for this language? 
So, earlier I uh, forgot to write one thing is that it should be stopped by lambda. So, in this case how to design the grammar for this language? The same way it, I have to write that first design an even number of A and even number of B productions and uh, at the time of stopping this one instead of stopping with lambda I will stop it with AB. Now, try with in the initial case if I need an AB I will replace S with this production and it will become S2 AB I will get AB. If I want triple A triple B what should I do that replace S with double A S double B after that replace this S with AB and it will become triple A triple B. If I want another one if it is next uh, productions I must get 5A 5B like this. I hope it is clear how to design a language and how to write the rules that is the grammar for this language.